In this lesson, we'll review a sentence completion problem. It's part of the critical reading section. We're on page 824, question 4 out of 5. This is a moderate to difficult problem. More blank than her predecessor, Superintendent Reynolds would, many predicted, have a far less blank term in office. The vocab is tough here. Before we look at the choices, let's look for the keywords and try to predict the blanks, and then we'll review the choices. So more blank than her predecessor, the person who came before her, Reynolds would, many predicted, have a far less blank term in office. So we don't really have a lot of clues here, but we do know that these are opposite. More blank than the person who came before her, she would have a far less. Less is a little bit of a key word, so it's almost you get the feeling that Reynolds is sort of some has the better leadership skills, so she would have a far less critical term in office. We don't really know, but we know they're opposite. And it seems like Reynolds is better because far less. That's a key word. So let's look at the choices and the vocab. I think is tough here. And again, we've got two blanks. So I always recommend just focusing on the blank in which you're most familiar here. They're pretty much, it's tough to tell because they're opposite. Let's start with the first one, phlegmatic, tough word. Phlegmatic is really sort of like a sluggish word. It's, or a calm or composed word. Lassitude, languish. It's um, some type of a word involving maybe blockage. And it's a little bit gross, but the root is in the word phlegm. <laughs> that maybe helps you remember it. All right, so more sluggish. Probably not because we want a better quality for Reynolds, but also let me give you another tip, apathetic. Now the word pathy or pathos has to deal with emotions or pity specifically, but apathy, it's got the prefix not, I, it's got the A prefix, that's not showing pity. It's sort of a neutral word. Neutral words are hardly ever the right choice because we want a plus or minus. Now. Again, probably a plus and then a minus, but neutral words like apathetic or words like ambivalent, sort of mixed feelings, not gonna be the choice hardly at all because they're not descriptive enough. But apathy is a neutral term, it's, it's sort of indifferent. And sluggish doesn't work. Now conciliatory, conciliatory is a good word. You know the word reconcile, it sort of means to work together to placate or unify more conciliatory than her predecessor Reynolds would have a far less confrontational. These two are opposite. That looks pretty good. We'll leave that open. Here we've got pathy again, empathetic. That's showing pity or sympathy. And the difference between sympathy and empathy, by the way, it's kind of minor, but empathy means you've actually experienced it yourself. I feel your pain. He's more empathetic. But then we have the same word, compassionate, in the second. So empathetic could work, but compassion is the same. We went opposite. And by the way, don't confuse empathetic with emphatic, which I've seen a lot on the test. And that comes for, it's sorry, it's, there's an M. Emphatic, which comes with the word emphasis. That's a totally different word to emphasize, emphatic. This is empathetic, which means to show pity. You felt that pain. That's out. Vigilant, good word to be very watchful careful watch doesn't it could work but then he has a far less reputable that's having the reputation or being renowned doesn't make any sense so watchful could work if the second blank were that somehow he um had a lot of oversight he wasn't diligent doesn't work that was reputable and then these two are very tough penurious it means literally indigent, completely insolvent or broke. They use insolvent for a company. Impecunious is another good word. P-E-C is the root for money. Penurious, completely without funds. And then frugal is just another word for cheap. Parsimonious or thrifty, miserly. Lots of good SAT words, but the answer here is B. It's got to be B. If you keep working on vocab, it'll make these so much easier. And studies have actually shown if you build vocab, if you know more synonyms 
for a single word in that split instinct when you're thinking about different words to use if you're speaking for example the studies have shown that the neurotransmitters they the, the levels will increase and your synaptic connections will get stronger it makes you smarter so just trust me try to work on vocab tough question the answer is b all right see you next time thanks for watching